Welcome to the Essence of Ram Dasness YouTube channel. Here you will find short videos that each discuss just one of his well-known quotes or key spiritual lessons. Today I am offering my analysis of and my experience with a concept that Ram Dass talked about often, which is that suffering is grace. Ram Dass said, I don't ask for suffering, but when it comes along, it certainly turns out to be grace, even though I'm begrudging it all the time. End quote. It is said that being on a spiritual path does not prevent us from facing times of darkness, but it does teach us how to use that darkness as a tool for spiritual growth. It has always been the case that whatever it is I had to do to get over my suffering, to deal with any loss or grief, is also what caused me to grow along spiritual line. Buddha famously said that the root of all suffering is attachment, yet to be human is to have attachments. Therefore my life will always contain some degree of suffering. The trick is to learn how to minimize the suffering. The practice of radical acceptance does that. Radical acceptance is the letting go, quickly, of any clinging to any of my attachments or desires, as soon as it is clear to me that the universe is not going that way. Radical acceptance is me giving up any of my expectations as soon as I recognize that they are not going to be met, no matter how reasonable those expectations were. Suffering only shows where you're attached. That's why, for those on the path, suffering is grace. The gift that comes with suffering is the way that it guides us back towards a path that is free of attachments. Suffering is, by definition, not something one can enjoy. But if I can allow it and not fight it, then I can find the freedom again more quickly that I need to be of maximum service to my fellows. That's what Ram Dass meant when he said that the shadow is the greatest teacher of how to come to the light. Ram Dass told us that suffering is the sandpaper that shapes our incarnation. Suffering does its work of shaping us. The work we have to do to relieve our suffering, the effort required to find a way to be free of suffering and to relieve the suffering of others, is what moves us forward on the path. Ram Dass said that as long as you're somebody, you're going to suffer. That's why he focused on becoming nobody. Being nobody is a state where you have detached even from your most basic identity of who you think you are in the world at any particular time. He said when you get frustrated because something isn't the way you thought it would be, examine the way you thought, not just the thing that frustrates you. You will see that a lot of your emotional suffering is created by your models of how you think the universe should be and your inability to allow it to be as it is. But here's the thing. I am a creature of habit in an impermanent world. I need models of how the world works in order to operate in it. So when everything changes, as it always will, I have to be willing to adjust my models of how the world works on the fly, to let them go as soon as I see they are no longer working, and adopt new models as fast as possible that more accurately reflect what's actually happening and are in line with the way things are actually moving not just how I want them to be. Suffering is grace because it forces us to embrace the impermanence of everything, to let go of any desire for anything to be permanent. Once you are fully in the habit of embracing the impermanence of everything, then you are free from the clinging to any attachments and thus free to help relieve all suffering wherever it occurs. Thich Nhat Hanh said that it is not impermanence that makes us suffer. What makes us suffer is wanting things to be permanent when they are not. However, it takes contrast to appreciate anything. It has been said that sometimes you have to experience what you don't want to come to a full appreciation of what you do want. On the other side of suffering, once we have done the work required for it to pass, is often deep, deep gratitude for the opportunity to be alive in this amazing world. The world is full of suffering because to be alive as a human is to have attachments and desires. The spiritual path is towards increasing awareness of the many ways in which we are all connected as one soul, one spirit. My clinging to my attachments and my insistence on my desires being met 
interferes with my awareness of this greater oneness that I am just a fragment of. Suffering forces me to let all that go. That is how suffering is grace. That is how my suffering is the sandpaper that shapes my incarnation. Overcoming my suffering, helping you overcome any suffering you have, clears the path ahead. The result is me standing more fully in the sunlight of the Spirit. I would like to end this by reading something I wrote several years ago. It is didactic prose, which is overt moral advice. It was inspired by one titled Desiderata. It represents some of what I have come to understand through this practice of radical acceptance, of allowing my suffering to be grace, and of trying to let go of my clinging to any attachments. Embrace the impermanence of everything. Be like a duck resting on the water in a storm. Waves roll under him, he is not disturbed. Rain rolls off his back, he is not moved by it. Strive to be in this world, but not of it. We are much, much more than just the atoms that make up our body. Keep in mind that this world will continue to turn long, long after we have all been recycled. Having normal human emotions, attachments, goals, desires, and frailties does not preclude also feeling a strong, uplifting, dynamic, and positive connection to the spirit of the universe. However big you imagine that the universe is, it is actually much bigger than that. However much you know that life exists in a gazillion places, it is actually even more widespread than that. My heart beats with the love energy that all life is infused with. Your heart beats with it too. It is a reflection of the vast, eternal, life-love energy that permeates all reality, all time, and all space. Permanent. Made up of countless impermanent lives. Carpe friggin' diem, man. Seize the moment. Be the adventure of life seeking itself in awareness. If you like this video, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do with this channel, please subscribe to it and share about it on social media. There are links in the description on how you can support my efforts financially, which would be very much appreciated at this time. Feel free to use the comment section here to suggest how I might improve these videos and future topics for them. Peace, love, and may the force be with you.